did my PhD looking at questions like what is the effect of lifestyle on how genes are expressed. Uh, and we do this at genome-wide level. So instead of looking at one gene at a time, we look at the human genome. With the main question being how genes interact with the environment. You know, this uh, debate of nature versus nurture. The prevalence of diabetes in the UAE is very high, as you know. Uh, so it's, it's definitely, if you think about the transition in lifestyle that happened in the Emirati population for like the last two or three generations, it's, it's massive. So you have a transition from traditional lifestyles to very urbanized lifestyle in a very short uh, period of time. So the genetics didn't change that much, but the environment changed. The hypothesis is that it has to be an interaction. There must be some genetic predisposition uh, to develop di diabetes, but then it's the environment that triggers the disease. As a scientist, I'm interested in understanding these, uh, the, these questions at the genetic level, like what are the genes that define those interactions? And there is really little work done on the genetics of the Emirati population. So one of our uh, interests is to develop uh, genetic so resources for the Emirati population. The biggest question right now in the field is what is our ability to predict? It fits into this field of personalized medicine. So to give you a very specific example, if I sequence whole genome from every individual at birth, can I predict what kind of diseases they might develop? Diseases like asthma, cancer, uh, diabetes, for instance. Uh, those are complex diseases. It's not, it's not defined just by the environment or the genes, but a combination of both. It's not easy. It's very challenging. It's really, I mean, this is where scientists spend a lot of time. This is where understanding each cell type, how does it work? Without even just understanding the basic biology of each cell type, different labs working on, on, on the same cell type, then one day somebody puts all that knowledge together and then they have a solution to uh, a problem or developing a new drug or something.